So my name is Adrian, and I'll be talking about my project. So as humans, we have a immune system. We have good and also bad bacteria in our bodies. And, we'll make, and it's not different with the as well. So I'll be focusing on this little guy over here, the long-toed salamander, also known as the Istum and Macrodaphnum. So this species is really interesting. It has a very wide distribution from Northern California all the way up to British Columbia, and even as wide as Montana. And so the crazy thing is, is this amphibian is able to avoid infection. And what I mean by infection is this fungal disease called Betrachochytrium dendrobotitis, also known as BD. BD is one of the main causes of amphibian decline worldwide and has caused amphibian population to decline very rapidly. But the thing is, with this amphibian in particular, they're able to avoid infection. And the question is, why and how? And so this species is really interesting because it has the ability to secrete this white substance that allows it to fight off predators. But this secretion is really, it's very particular because it also has antifungal properties. And so what I'm trying to look at is the role of these anti fungal properties to their skin secretion and skin bacteria and see how it fights infection. And so I'll be testing these in culture in petri dishes where I'll grow this bacteria by itself and stick these right on top of this fungal pathogen to see if there's any inhibition or any growth that could fight off this infection. So in the long scheme of things, showing that these amphibians have a chance to fight back, it shows that there's a possible way for these amphibians to bounce back from this fungal pathogen. Hopefully, amphibian populations could stay the same.